speaker making pronouncement post and the entrenched positions they took that has uh, th that has led us here and how do we find consensus from that point individuals good morning to our viewers good morning individuals they are key individuals key individuals. i just i just mention <laughs> let's be specific you can't just generalize yeah. and let me tell my brother from uh, what do you call it uh, movement, for movement for change once we see your action that is when you compare someone to coma apart from that you cannot compare <laughs> all right so we shouldn't even go down that line look let me take it from the point the the, the point where uh, ab made in terms of interpretation mm. the high court can interpret the constitution court of appeal can parliament can oh. and also council of states yes can interpret the constitution now i think uh, when you take 97 article 97 article 99 article 110 article 130 mm. there are lacunas in there that need to be looked at that's why some of us continuously say we should go back and look at the 998 pages of the constitutional review and see how best we can align this constitution number three uh, let me ask you a question the question is that the speaker did not have the power to do what to declare vacancies that is the argument the, the argument being made because okay when you the, when you played michael quay mm. There was a word in there mm. that he used that Babin also used. And what's that word? Michael Quay said, by his conduct. You heard it? Babin also said, right. by his action. What's the difference? Same. Just by, a sin on it. What's action. the difference? Mm. Yeah, yes, by their actions. Difference. Well, it's the same thing. It's different. What's different? Look, by their conduct, ahead. by their actions. It's different. Huh? His conduct is that he did what? He stood as a, uh, 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 what do you call it? Independent. Independent. Made a decision. But their actions show that mm -hmm. they have crossed carpet. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? Number two, and maybe around the table, you'll be able to the advise me. <laughs> advise me. Don't qualify. When? <laughs> when? Ajua Safo, eh? absconded from her seat for how many days absconded well how should i put it okay absent. didn't attend parliament was for absent for more than 15 days who was supposed to declare her seat vacant is it the speaker what's the difference what is the difference tell me somebody, somebody should tell me what is the difference? So you're saying so from, so from, question, from the arguments, the time the speaker from, had the powers exactly, or not. from the arguments they are making, the speaker doesn't have the, the, the power to declare vacant. At just her first case, did he have to go back to 99? Did he have to go back to the Supreme Court for interpretation? Or even 97? Or 97? There is an issue of conduct. Uh -huh. yeah. 97? And in 97, it says, shall mandatory. And that was what, that is what the speaker the speaker was using on the address of his case. Tell me, what's the difference between the two? When we've already, I've already stated the institutions that can also interpret. But yes, yes, the, 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 the Supreme Court can give final interpretation yeah. of yeah. the Constitution. Yeah. So, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Look, it, it, we have to be very, very careful. Eh? We have to be careful? Yes, we have Why? to be very careful. And parliamentarians have to be very, very careful and not take Ghanaians for granted. They should look at the 2020 elections of parliament. See what happened. Ghanaians are watching. They are watching the different pal uh, parliamentarians who are saying A, B, C, D, E. Come election day. Eh? If Ghanaians decide that hey we are going to give one party absolute uh, majority and then vote for another party for president that is where you will see the difficulties that we have now 
I come to consensus. Let me tell you something, uh, um, Roland. The only consensus that that should sway everybody, including the speaker, including parliamentarians, and including Ghanaians, is the threat of elections. What do I mean? Explain. Yeah. What do I mean? Mm -hmm. The Electoral Commission, have they brought in their CI that would govern the elections? It has a 21 day to cure yeah. before it becomes a law. Has it happened? Isn't time ticking? And isn't it a threat to our elections going forward as the time draws near? We have 44 days to elections. So, really, I would plead. Because of elections alone, I would plead with the speaker, please, whatever the case is, let's put this case aside. In fact, if the Supreme Court may, and I'm not in the Supreme Court, they can stay their verdict. Hmm? Get Parliament back because of the elections. And look at particular bills that need to be passed and do you notice something in the the the, the bills that the mpp are now using to recall parliament do you realize li264 2642 is not part of it the mining the mining is not part yeah, of it mining is in forest is not part of it what did the president say to organize labor what is the president say to organize labor? It's not part of it. It's already with parliament. It's, it's already what? It's already with parliament. Is it part of the bills that they were going to the draw? The speaker should call parliament well, for parliament. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying, no, wait, wait, please, 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 that you've cited. please, please. I'm saying the list of bills that they in are that trying memo. to force parliament to come back. Is it part of it? It's not. It's not. So for me, the only consensus I can see for me is on the elections. We cannot afford to, 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 to let this, this particular issue that has personal interest in there. Why do you, you keep saying uh, personal interest? You keep using the phrase personal interest. Ah, isn't it the country that we are, we are ruling? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't the country come first? Shouldn't parliamentarians say, okay, we do not agree with what has happened. However, we have elections coming up. If we are not careful, the, the actions might stay these elections for whatever the case is whatever the challenge is let's go back who sits left who sits right look 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 Ru, let me ask you a question well, that's it the agent matters the yes, yes. Part, yeah. let, let me ask you a question if it so happened that they were able to get these parliamentarians out could they run a by-election the law states that by-election should be held six months before an election. How many days? Could they have? So, the NDC... I don't about law is law. The, uh, the, yeah, I'm saying that they won't be able to run the by-election. Mm -hmm. Yes. They won't so be able to run. They are even, not, they they are even yes. not entitled yes. to run it. So, because that's what so the law, the law mine, says that mine, uh, mine, it has to be three, three months. months. Yes, three months. Mine is that. It should be six months. Eh? Right, three months right? NDC, you've made your point. You've made your point. You've argued your point. You think it's the fault of the NDC? Right? No, no. I'm not saying it's the fault. So what are you saying? I'm saying that it was Haruna who brought this situation up, isn't it? It came from the opposition. It didn't come from the major, uh, the party in power. It came from them. The majority. You've made your majority. point. You've made your point. Everybody understands your point. Ideally, who should, who should, who who was was the NDC right? The individuals like Haruna and then the leader. According to the law. Okay. Were they right? According to the law. They were right. 97. All right. According to the law. Let let me finish. Mm -hmm. I think I think it is important for all of us to bring the country first. Mm. All this up and down, up and down is not helping anybody. And the people who are coming back to vote for you are caught in the middle. Mm. Parliamentarians, executive, judiciary, right. think of Ghana first.